Hello and welcome to this Ventus Release 6.2 What's New feature video. In this video we will give you a short overview of our new nodes, improvements and changes. After we edit the GLTF2 importer, it is also possible to import the animation data from GLTF models. You just need to drag and drop your rigged and animated models into Ventus and automatically Ventus creates an animation rig content node which contains the properties for your created animations. You can switch between different animations and animate them. Also, you can add animation mixer property groups for blending between different animations. Another useful improvement is the possibility to use the rig data to attach, for example, a particle system to a bone of your character. For more control over shadows and how they react with the environment, we added to the shadow material stage an option for enabling or disabling the casting of shadows. With our newest release, we added the support for Spout and now you can find a new node called Spout Receiver and a 2D Spout Receiver layer. Spout is a real-time video sharing framework for Windows. It allows different applications that handle video or textures to share them local on your machine. Array and Array Indexer nodes have now custom verbs for adding values to existing arrays. You will find these options in the lower left corner of the Property Editor window. We updated SDI and integrated the DeltaCast SDK 6.08 and now we support most of the new boards. We recommend the Delta 3G ELP 4C, 8C, Key 2K and Key 4K boards and if you need more and detailed information about boards which work with Ventus, you can find a list in our user menu. In v6.2 we added a new module for the particle system and with this module, called Data Animation, you can use arrays to control your particles. This means, for example, arrays can affect position, size, color and sprite rotation. In addition to this new module, we added the Disable Computation property to the streams. This option, in combination with the Blocked State property, allows you to choose between disabling a stream visual or blocking the complete calculation. Ventus supports with this release DDS textures with the block compression BC6H and BC7. This means you can use high quality textures with a very low file size. If you want to know more about Ventus 6.2, you can visit our user menu website and the release notes on ventus.com. Also, you can watch our longer videos about the features on our YouTube channel or press F1 while hovering over notes in V6. Have a nice day, bye!